You're watching a clip from the club podcast. Make sure you follow it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and give it a five star review. So here you go is a lovely clip from our podcast. The debate, Gundogan, Kante, Casemiro. A crap debate. I mean, honestly, right. someone's had a day off on the, in the office um, writing this. Let's say, let's make me. arguments for all three of them and okay. then we'll decide. Well, we talked Why about would Elko it be Gundogan? Gundogan? Look, treble winner, big goals in the FA Cup final can control a game technically as gifted as anyone on the list that we've talked about. He's technically more gifted than Kante he's and more, Casemiro on the ball. He's more gifted in an attacking sense than any other. Yeah, ball, he's a he? delicate playmaker, resilient. He's a, he's a captain, he's a leader, but quiet as well. I've never enjoyed a Gundogan goal because of who he's scoring for. But you know that goal where, was it Everton? Yeah, where well he flicks it, Shards flicks out. it around. Oh, back to goal. Oh. It's burkamp esque It's kind of Burkamp. Burkamp didn't mean it as well. I think Gundogan meant it. Yeah, well. which is wild. Um, <laughs> which is definitely wild. Kante, um, I have to. I say this a lot, and I, I, I believe it. For a four-year spell, I think he's the best defensive midfielder the game's ever seen in terms of the standard of winning World the ball. Cup, Premier Leagues. All he that. helped. He 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 unlocked Pogba in that France midfield. He unlocked Danny Drinkwater, which <laughs> I know that's crazy, but Danny Drinkwater scored big goals in that Premier League title running. He did, and then he he unlocked obviously an amazing midfield with Fabregas and all that for for Conte. And it was, uh, he, he gave the platform for the likes of Riyad Mahrez, Vardy etc because that was a counter-attacking team you know like and he was a big part of getting in there destroying and the ball getting sent I think he also doesn't get enough credit for his quality on the ball mm. because he's seen as this like quiet guy who just runs around works really hard and destroys he has a, a lot of quality on the ball that's why you see him playing in the final third a lot these days even the goals he scored where he used to run through a couple of players remember yeah. those and he kind of he, he scored one against United didn't he at Stanford Bridge a really and good short, one really short through. passes and quick bursts is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's, a, he's a great player Casemiro on the other hand how many Champions Leagues did he win like four five yeah. like he's won so many Champions Leagues it's ridiculous would you argue he's the um, third most important though he wasn't even he was never the first most important but these factor. kind of players we had this discussion with Gundogan earlier they're never really the, the, the first like they're never really the most important player mm. or, seems to the fans but the managers would probably pick them first every yeah, yeah, time yeah. like do you know what I mean I'm like, trying to think of a genuine like a big you're never going to be the main man in the Cristiano Ronaldo team it's just the way in that, even in that midfield of Modric Cruz he was never number one but he facilitated for them he allowed, he allowed yeah. what they were doing to happen and I think he br in that team he had to break up the play he had to do all those things coming to the Premier League a lot of people thought is he going to be able to do it mm. and then he comes in his quality on the ball, I think I underrated before he got Definitely, there. He's, yeah. he's so much better. He's got more of an attacking threat than I thought. And he's just so good. He's reading of the game, his tackling and his leadership skills. I think he's the best leader. Be, be honest list. with me now. Would If Casemiro was in Ranieri's Leicester uh, Premier League winning side and then Kante was in the Champions League winning side for Madrid for those three, four years with, with Zidane, I think those Real Madrid sides still win the Champions League. I think I don't think Leicester City win the Premier League. I think that's the big Ooh, change. I think that's a difficult... Oh. I don't think Casemiro Ooh. ever does what Kante did for, that, for Leicester. I don't even think he gets that limited Chelsea I side to win the Champions League. I think Casemiro is a big, big, big... He would perform better than Kante did in Ranieri's Leicester winning side. Be honest with yourself. Say. It's Come hard on. to say. No, look, you should take a gut. It's, it's a gut shot, isn't it? It's a, a gut, gut shot. shot is yes. Really? But it's hard to say. Casemiro is so important for that team, Def that Real Madrid team. Defensively, he's worse. And in the Champions League, he's not know. worse defensively. Kante off the ball in terms of his pressing, his work rate, his tackling, his it's man like marking. It's like going, all right, take Kante out of that team, put Gundogan in, did he win the league? No? Yeah, yeah, that's an argument. But it's like, that's, that's that doesn't, that doesn't that. take away from what Gundogan is. No, of course. but And they've all had different periods of different times, and I think... But Kante and Casemiro are the two defensive ones. When Leicester ones. won the league, didn't Casemiro win the Champions League? Yeah, what's, what's that got to do with you? You know what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm just, yeah, but Leicester City. Yeah, but Real Madrid won a, one of their one of their thirteen Champions League titles. Leicester City five thousand to one. I don't think you, if you put Casemiro in that Leicester City side, they come they come tenth. Seriously, I'm not trying to even say nah. Casemiro is that. But I love Casemiro. I think he's fantastic. He's well, -class. you don't love Casemiro. I can hear by but, what you say. No, but I do. I, I think he's a. I think he's unreal. I love the position of defensive midfield. To, to get it right, to get a world class midfielder like that is hard. You have to do a very special. If I had to role. rank these. Oh, it's hard, you know. Casemiro is third. No, I was he is say he's first or second. <laughs> he's not first. He's not first. He's first. Or I, I, I think it's Kante first. Oh, you can't win Kante the Champions first. leagues and not be top of this list, you know. Champions League is more difficult than the World Cup to win. That's true. I, yeah, that's true. I think. But Kante um, won it. Oh, he won a Champions League. Casemiro, 
Casemiro is more of a run as well. I think Kante only had a four year spell. Casemiro Kante. This is a stupid. Com- Casemiro and Kante. Get, He's trying to wind us up. But Jack. Gundogan shouldn't be here because he doesn't fit in alongside those players. Yeah, Jack's um, trying to wind us up in the back. Room, out of Casemiro and Kante, Casemiro. But there have right been, now, you're right because yeah, you know, Kante's gone to Saudi Arabia. Kante has been a better player in their prime for a season. You take you you pull it out of 2016. You put him in that Real Madrid side. I think they're even better than they were with Zidane. They're even better. Nah. With Prime Kante, are you joking? Casimir. I don't even think Casemiro in that France I love side how you're does as well. Talking about Gundogan, well, I'm not because they're different. Ilkay Gundogan's a better it's playmaker good. than all yeah, three, yeah. but but Kante, <laughs> no one no one talks about Casemiro as being the best defensive midfielder of all time. They Kante's will when he up there with Makaleli. He's up there with. They will when he finishes. No way. They will when he finishes. With Man United. Do you know what's going to happen? Coming he's fourth gonna, every gonna, year. He's going to win the Premier League for us. <laughs> what year are we doing Dad. the pod? <laughs> Lads, make sure you subscribe to the club. We'll be doing this in 2038 when Man United win the Premier League. Congratulations to Adam McCola with that one. I didn't hear that. If you had to pick one now, who are you taking? Right now, I'd say Ilkay Gunnigan. He's at the highest level. He just oh. won a treble. Your boy's been playing the Europa League yeah, last season. Oh, you can't um, again. Can't say he's Saudi Arabia. Gundogan can both start for the same team. In fact, all three of those could start in the midfield three. Yeah, Kante's gone now because he's in Saudi Arabia. I think Casemiro, Gundogan, Kante in that order now. I think I just for one video, just take the Man United spectacles off, I'm please, not, bro. I'm never gonna do it. Please. Now nah, you know what Gundogan is class, isn't he? <laughs> Gundogan is class, and I think you know what. Because you have to admit this is skewed because attacking or more attacking midfielders are always going to look better and be remembered better because of the things that they do. Mm. You're, there's going to be tackles that Casemiro and Kante have made that at the time you went, oh my God, that's just amazing. Mm. But you're not going to remember it 10 years down the line. Gundogan scored cup final winning goals. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's led the team. He's been a big part of that. So you have to talk about what Gundogan's done on the pitch. And if we are comparing these three, which we kind of have to do, but then when was his Gundogan's prime? Would you say it was this last season? It's probably this. It's probably two two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. You know, the prime is it's probably prime performance was against Man United. Are we, in the are we allowing final. the treble to sway us too much? I don't think the pressure that comes when you're playing at Wembley, you have 80,000 fans, half of the stadium's red. You got the Man United end. I think it was Man United end, wasn't it? You were there. You can t- let me know. Right in front of me. And what was it? Beautiful. Yeah. And uh, do you film that one? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't I, film I don't during games. <laughs> and then thirteen seconds in, he see follies it in. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I think if you did, if David Beckham did that, you you we I'd no, never not hear ball, about that. I you know when I knew that ball was going in, Lindelof headed it, and it was such a weak header. Yeah, terrible header, wasn't it? I just remember thinking, oh god, that's so fat. soft, wasn't it? Yeah. Ping, yeah. it just went in. <sighs> Yeah, um, Gundogan, <laughs> what a bastard. Um, yeah, but Casemiro third. I think that and then achievement we over, two. people overlook that achievement so much, man. That's why I think as well. You know, in the Ronaldo debate, people overlook that Champions League three P achievement. So that I love, that, it. I, don't I, think, I love it. It's amazing. I don't think that ever gets done again. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It done. doesn't. But Not Casemiro, in my the, the issue I for Casemiro, but, but you could argue about Leicester City. They'll never do that again. Yeah, you know, and that's that, that was arguably, you know, Real Madrid are set up to win Champions League. I mean, Leicester City are not set up to win anything. They're in the championship. 